everybody headed to another hunt <clears throat> so this is a cow tag that I have in kind of the north very northwest portion of the state of Wyoming uh, but it's been snowing on and off these last few days so there's obviously as you see some snow in the hills not a ton but enough um, there's some guys that have been up here where I'm going earlier in the week and they said they saw about 200 head of elk they're on the move a lot of deer out moving around uh, migrating so it should be a good time but as I'm driving here, I just thought, man, this is pretty cool country. Thought I'd show everybody through my dirty windshield. And this slowpoke driver that doesn't know that I'm in a hurry to go elk hunting, even though it doesn't open till tomorrow. It's been a super rough year at work this year. Lots going on, not like, horrible just a lot going on I guess uh, keeping me busy I didn't get to hunt the way I wanted to hunt this year we did get out a couple weekends ago and Levi got a nice 4x4 four four buck uh, mule deer in the North Fork area so that was fun um, we saw a fair amount of deer this year it was a good good season I think I got out three days deer hunting I didn't get my deer, saw several fork and horns, a couple three, by, three points, um, just nothing that I wanted to take this year, so no deer for me, didn't draw a bull tag this year, but did draw two cow tags, so this is the first of two cow tags, and hopefully we'll be successful, it's close to home, it's only about mm, a 50 minute drive from home. So that's pretty close. Levi has a wrestling tournament this Saturday. He's got the same tag, but he can't miss school. He had the flu these last couple days, so he's missed some time in school already, and he doesn't want to miss anymore. So he's not going with me on this trip, which is a bummer. He's my hunting buddy. Uh, but I might get him up here maybe Sunday for a day hunt. We'll see how that goes. But I'll continue to film as we drive here on and off. And if I see anything exciting, I'll show it to everyone. Uh, looking forward to three days off here in the beautiful mountains of Wyoming. I am back <clears throat> this is one of my favorite drives in all of Wyoming this is Chief Joseph Highway and the deer actually there's some right there and a nice buck I don't know if you saw him but the deer dropped down into this area during their migration there's another bunch of deer and it is just phenomenal it's a, such a beautiful place just to come check out all the deer and scenery. I mean, it's just gorgeous. I'll try to get some video and pics of deer. I know I've been swinging this camera around quite a bit. And it's hard for you to see, but if I get an opportunity to see some animals for you, I'll show you. But just and this beautiful country very blessed to be able to do this very blessed that my wife and family let me do this and they deal with my grouchy times when I can't do it very blessed this right here feeds my soul up to the pass here so I thought I'd take you along what a beautiful day it is nice sunny day <clears throat> 
I think we're supposed to get a little snow tonight or tomorrow night. I can't remember. Chief Joseph Highway, Clark's Fork of the Yellowstone River. Look at that over there. My goodness gracious. Gracious goodness. That's where we're going actually, back up in there. I'm having a hard time driving and doing this, but that's where we're going, back up into that rocky stuff. We won't be really hunting that high up, but be hunting down in the those lower hills over there but pretty cool pretty neat country I know I've said that like a gazillion times but yeah pretty neat Morrison Jeep trail goes up over that hill right there Clark's Fork is at the base of that right down there if you follow this road right down and then see that rocky cliff there straight ahead right at the base of that is the Clark's Fork of the Yellowstone River. <clears throat> All right, this next little section is pretty windy and it looks like there's a little snow and ice on the road. So I'm gonna put the camera down for a few moments and I'll pick it back up when it's safe. are off the main road and heading in to where we're going to camp for a couple days. A lot of horses out still in pasture. They're digging to get grass. Wouldn't you love to live out of here, huh? My goodness. I'm sure that's an outfitter. It's not bad. It's packed snow, so I haven't slid yet. That's a good thing. Someone tried to gravel the road. shack up and never come out. <laughs> Mr. Antisocial.
guess that's enough scenery pictures for you. We got a little ways to go still, so when we get to the next turn, next road, I'll maybe video a little bit more, or if I see some animals, I'll try to get a picture for you or a video. See you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. We're on a new road and it's still not horrible. It's been packed down. There's been people driving on this road, but there's snow back here for show. Looks pretty though. Looks like there's a few clouds rolling in. seen any animals yet uh, since we came up over the pass I saw some deer but we'll see there's a few people up here I'm sure it'll get busier as season opens tomorrow so I'm sure people will come up tonight right tomorrow morning Fishing game, I didn't catch it on the video, but fishing game has a bunch of cabins back there that they house. Looks like most of them are all cleared out for now, but I will pick you back up when I get to camp. Sitting by the campfire, relaxing, snowy cold night, it's supposed to be a storm coming in, and it might drop two, three inches of snow on us tonight, but loving life, no stars out tonight, so I can't even show you the stars, but I can show you a campfire, it's a beautiful night. All right, y'all, we finally spotted some elk opening morning. You cannot see them, but they're right behind that saddle right there. So we've decided to make a play on them. We're gonna walk this ridge line down and up that and over to them and pray that they stay there. So we'll talk soon. So, that was the saddle down there that we were trying to get to. We got there. And they're behind one more ridge there. And then there's two up on that spot, that slide that has no snow on it. And so we're making our way over to that other ridge. We're basically just chasing elk. They're not moving far, but they're moving a little at a time. Just out of our reach. Hopefully we get on them. All right, everyone, we did it. Lord have mercy, what a hike. What beautiful country. I am so stoked. This is my very first elk. I don't even know if I can 
can't see her. She's somewhere down there. She's right down there. There she is. Cow elk down, baby. Woohoo! All right, so we've got this elk quartered up. I think we are about, I don't know, two miles from the truck maybe, I'm guessing. Up a pretty steep drainage. I'm about halfway there and I'm just dragging quarters, dragging my pack. I've got stuff hanging off me. I'm beat, I'm give out. beautiful country but I think I got about a mile to go to the truck still so I'm about halfway there I have no idea what time it is I shot this elk at 10 30 and I think it's probably 3 30 or 4 right about now back to the truck safe and sound see that big butt mountain right there big butt steep 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 that's where we shot her at way up there about three miles from the truck maybe four total holy cow that was brutal for a cow elk but I wanted one success all right game wardens up here he saw me coming out he wants to talk to me so We'll chat, he's a pretty good guy, Jordan. We met him yesterday, and I think he's pretty good. Every animal that I've killed here, I've had a game warden out in the field check me. It's kind of interesting. They're everywhere up here, but for the most part, they're pretty good dudes. I haven't had any issues, so that's great. All right, talk soon. Alright, we are heading home. That's Jeff in front of me with the trailer. We are leaving this beautiful country. Very blessed to have had this time. And chasing elk way up there on that big mountain called Windy. That is Windy Mountain. Actually, we were right I can't even tell you but right at the base of that this morning chasing elk and they were all over so at any rate we'll miss this place we'll be home soon though cutting up elk successful trip